G'day guys, it's John from the Productive Garden.com and what I'm doing today is I'm just, well I'll update you on my plans for the top bar height because as I sort of mentioned before when I looked at it it seemed to be queenless. Um, well it was either a, a drone laying queen or a laying worker. Now I'm pretty sure it's a laying worker. Um, there's no sign of a queen there or anything like that. Um, either way it's not really viable to keep going with that top bar hive the way it is. So I have a plan. The queen that I did buy for the top bar hive, I've put in this nuke here with um, two frames of brood and a frame of honey. And I'm going to leave them in here. They're under the top bar hive with the entrance facing the other way to what the top bar hive does. So the plan is that these guys adopt the queen. Um, and this is frames from my Langstroth hive, okay? Um, They'll adopt, they'll adopt this new queen and like all the bees will stay in there because the brood are in there. Um, okay, I've got a guard bee bothering me here. Okay, um, so they'll adopt the queen and she'll start laying brood in there. Now I'll give her a couple of weeks to lay brood, I'll give her about three weeks to lay brood. She's been in here since, um, when was it? Just trying to remember when I put her in here. Now it's Saturday here in Australia now, Saturday the 29th of December. And I put her in, I'm pretty sure it was Sunday last week. So they've been in here for almost a week. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll take the top off. I'm not sure how cranky they're gonna be when I take the top off. They're not too bad. Okay, now, that's the top there. <coughs> this is the queen cage where the, that the queen was in okay now they've eaten through that actually a few hive beetle in there squash those little suckers okay so it looks like the queen may very well be in there now now I'm not going to bother her at the moment I'm just going to leave them to do their thing um, they can get used to her and hopefully very soon she'll start laying brood. Okay, now they, they already had two frames of brood in here, so they'll have brood hatching. They'll build up to a fairly strong hive pretty quickly. And um, yeah, hopefully when she starts laying brood, um, they'll be going all right. Okay, so I'll just put the lid on now. I'll leave these guys for a few weeks. Okay, so they've already been in, in here basically for a week now. Um, she was in the queen cage for about a week. Okay, so um, she'll be two weeks since she was picked out of the hive now, since she was um, caught and put in the queen cage. That's been two weeks. Um, give her another two weeks and she should have started laying brood by then. So hopefully in two weeks time, I'll check here, see if there's new brood in there. Um, and um, yeah, we'll be on our way. Now what I'll do then is I'll get the frames. So obviously being Langstroth frames, they won't just sit in this top bar hive. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay the frames at one end of the hive and I'm going to construct a queen excluder for the top bar hive. Now basically what I'm going to do, going to do is just work out what the gap is on a Langstroth queen excluder between the, the bits of steel in the, in the grill that you put in there for a queen excluder, work out that gap and drill holes in the follower board the size of that gap. Now what that'll do is that'll let workers through but it won't let the queen through. So if I shake the queen off up this end where all the, all the um, honeycomb is that's already been built then and have the queen excluder in there then that'll stop her going back down to where the Langstroth frames are and laying more brood in those frames because what I want to happen is I'll lay those frames down this end, queen excluder in between Basically, the hive will be at this end. And then as the brood hatch, they'll be able to move up to this end of the hive. And maybe the bees will put honey in there. Maybe they won't. Doesn't really matter. Because once all the brood is hatched from those frames, then I can go and stick them into the Langstroth hive and they can start filling them with honey again. So th that's the plan that we've got now. Anyway, we'll leave these guys here starting to be a bit, get a bit cranky with me sitting here in their fly flight path, waving my hands around and stuff. So um, we'll let them go, 
cranky little things they can be. And um, no, they're not too bad. They're just they're just warning me off, just saying stop waving your hands around, get out of our flight path. Anyway, I'll let you go, and until next time, happy productive gardening. Bye.